Good morning, Dave Snyder here. It is the, I don't even know what day it is. Here, let me see. <laughs> it's the 10th of November, 2014. And it's 8.01 a.m. In, in California here. And it, this is a perfect example of, of the weather showing geologic history or something like that. And anyways, it, I noticed this pattern. See this, this pattern right up here? And I remember seeing this, I don't know, probably two years ago or something like that up here in this area see there's Japan right here behind here right and you see this pattern right here this is interesting because you see the p Japan in the pattern you see like how it comes up like that I could turn it off but I'm not gonna turn the satellite image off it just takes a minute anyways so anyways uh, I know I recognize the pattern you can probably recognize this pattern there there's the Himalayas right there right I mean it's up it's upside down these are pointing north when they should be pointing south but here's what happened when I saved this image took it to Google Earth and overlaid it over the Himalayas. All I did was turn it around. I didn't flip it over. I just turned it around. And here you go. And this is just, I just threw it up there just a minute ago. So, I mean, it's just not perfect or anything like that. It's just, just threw it up there. But I can clearly see the, this line that comes across in the right. It's, it, it is weather from that spot for sure definitely weather from that location now I don't know if it that weather came from this location and see because weather is formed by the land basically it it all the patterns in the weather you see in the cloud that are in the clouds above the earth are transferred from the the earth to the sky basically projected in a way to the sky the shape of the land the, the patterns in the sky should should be the shape of the land in you know where where it started where the weather starts anyway should be the shape of the land. I don't know if it floats up and stays formed like that shape and then turns and goes away or it's, you know, or if that shape is here or that, you know, the, the land that's shaping it is right here and over here. You know what I'm saying? That it'd be hard to imagine that weather pattern sticking together that that way and, and going through that much turning because look how much, look, look where it is. Let me turn on the weather here. It's not going to be great, but it should show something close to it somewhere. Oh, hell no. It doesn't show shit. Hold on a second. Let me go back to... <laughs> there it is. Okay, so... <laughs> Google Earth sucks so bad. They totally destroyed their weather. Okay, so here here it is right here. This is the this is like looking like a fish or something. This is the head. This is the tail right here, right? It'd have to, it would have to spin all the way around. Completely around. So you got the, this thing right here. You have to. This thing would have to end up all the way around and, and have to stay in this, this same exact form the whole time. But that's pretty cool. I think that's a good example of the weather showing you some, showing, showing you uh, the history. Look at that. I mean, you know that's the same thing. You you know that's the same thing. Something, the same thing. That shaped that weather pattern right here at one at some point shaped that area of the earth right here too obviously the earth is an interesting puzzle very interesting puzzle okay so we got Japan right there what's what's gonna where's Japan oh boy look at that everything's created from the same hot spot pretty much Okay, let's take a look at Japan on Google Earth, or we're on Google Earth. Okay, Japan. In the middle of Japan and China, there's this China, Korea or whatever, okay, and this is uh, Japan, right? And in the middle of, J in the sea of Japan, you can obviously see that there was like a volcano. This is a, just a huge caldera, caldera that has sank or sunk or whatever. When, you know, after it erupted, it created these, these islands are all, this is a, former volcano you can tell okay so look where it falls right in right here into place the plateau is definitely from a hot you know some kind of hot spot that created this massive of rock right here okay it created that and it, and I see that all the time there's always something big that falls right to that spot but the, it it's the same thing Japan the, the same hot spot let me think I'm trying to think of what else goes here that has a uh, oh the uh, Lake Victoria, 
put Lake Victoria over there too. Lake Victoria will fit inside this area very well. Inside Japan, I mean, Japan and Lake Victoria basically are the same thing. Let's let's just take Japan and go to Lake Victoria with it. Here, let me turn this off. We'll just steal a picture like this. We'll just save the image. Save image. <clears throat> And we'll call it the Sea of Japan. Oop, the Sea of Japan. Okay, we'll take that over to Lake Victoria. And if you can't see it already, okay, so here we go. Lake, or what did I call it? Called <laughs> Sea of Japan. All right, it's still early. I, I've only had one cup of coffee so far. Sea of Japan, right here. Okay. Not only does uh, not only does this uh, Sea of Japan go with Lake Victoria or whatever. It, I mean, it will go with Lake Victoria. I think it's got to be turned upside down, actually, something like that, and get it right on here. I can't remember. And it goes like this. Oh, I see it. It goes like this. Goes like that. I mean, it, it was th they were in the same place at one one point in time. Those were those used to be in the same location on Earth or whatever. You understand what I'm saying? They were to, they were together. Now watch this. This also goes over here. If you go to North America. I might have it a little bit big. Okay, something like that. Go over to North America with it. And you can go down to Australia with it and you can it'll fit every continent. So all these areas were like one hot spot must have created these major areas, you know what I mean? These must have. There we go. Now watch. I gotta turn this upside down, I think, on, on North America, I think. I have to shrink it down a little bit too. I think it's a little smaller. I think it goes, uh, I think it has to go upside down over here. Might be wrong. I, I don't know. It's been a while. It goes in here somewhere. Right, right there. Something like that, maybe. Let's put Yellowstone right in the middle of it. Oh, see, that's how it comes together for me things like that I'll start I'll see it like right in the area of some something else you know that they're all major vol volcanic areas so they go some they were together somehow I mean this probably goes over here it it, it could go like that look at that oh, that's pretty good could be that one I'm just trying to remember oh look right here this this could go right here even I don't know. I know Japan goes over here somewhere. I've had it fit perfectly over here before. Oh, here we go. The Rockies, maybe. Maybe it's the Rockies. Like right here. Something like this. I'm not saying they were over the top of each other. I'm just saying that they were in the same place at some point in time. They were all... And then pushed off. Obviously pushed off somehow I mean I would I would have to think that would be another lunar impact pushing continents that were created from the previous impact off the top of the spot where they're being created and then have it end up wherever it ends up and uh, you know on the earth and it you know pushed aside or whatever and then another you know eruption creates another continent or something like that something like that I cancel this anyways. I'm just kind of mumbling here. Anyways, that's a good example of the weather like that. I think that was pretty good. This here. Where did it go? Did I even save it? Oh yeah, I did. It's this one. Okay. There you go. I mean, this is just a small piece, but look how how 
how it shows that. I mean, it shows, it shows, you can see Japan. If I take, I'm going to put Japan right here, actually. We should just do it right here where it was showing it. That probably would have been a good idea. Okay, so, uh, Sea of Japan. How I called it? Okay, how was it in there like this? Or wait, let me see. Hit OK and then bring this back up. Okay, yeah, I see it. I'm go ahead and put it right up there, right over the top. Make it easier. So that's that's the area. Anyways, now now I can turn this one off. And I can get in there without it, I think. It's there. Oh, yeah, it is there. It is there, I would say. Oh, there's m definitely more to this. Definitely more to it. Holy shit. Interesting. Okay, let me just put it there and we'll just take a quick look at it. <coughs> Lots. Of, there's a lot more to go with this, I'm telling you right now. There's a lot more that'll go with this. It'll show... I mean, you can see this. This There's a line that comes right around here that I just, re I just noticed the other day, really. It, it goes like this. Right here. And I got another picture that shows that really good, too. That's why I was saying. But you can see that that's the same thing. There's the sea of Japan and there is the Himalayan Tibetan Plateau Mount you know all that area of China okay and I bet you this this right here that lake right there it just lines up right you know with this lake here probably I probably got just a little bit off but it's probably you know the same it's one of those little marks that will help you line things up but you see the curve here it's right there it's the same thing it just falls right into place that way we just did it together never did it before this um, I never put Japan like this over the over this area like this before. Never, nothing ever showed me to do it. So now that that weather pattern, I seen the weather pattern that showed me to do that. That's what why I did it because I used the weather pattern. Look at that. You see that now? Wow, interesting. That is very interesting. Okay, so there is a hot spot on the Earth. It's probably, I think it's Hawaii. I think it's the Hawaiian hot spot. I do somewhat think that. I mean, it's, uh, it t everything ends up there sooner or later, it seems like. It ends up near there sooner or later. There's also, um, I don't know, it seems like there's one over here, th this area here, but I'm not really, I mean, these are all, the, the Earth has been impacted by the moon many times. I mean, it's it, everything that you see on the moon, on every side of the moon, that looks like an impact, a, a big impact, is a big impact with the Earth. And and I've checked it and checked it, and you can check it if you want to. I don't care. It doesn't, you know, I'm not even worried about that because it, I know what I'm seeing. And if you look at it, too, you're going to see the same thing as long as you look at it with some, you know, persistence. And don't just, you know write it off as you just got to put things together it, you can't just do it and have it be confirmed and believe that from one or two things you have to build up a lot of things that you can put together later and bring up you know together to confirm things I'll bring up something from two years ago with something I did today that confirms it because I did that two years ago and I'm doing this today and look at when I bring them together this is what it shows that's exactly you know what I'm saying I've done that for like four years now, so I got a lot of stuff stored, a lot of pictures and images, and a lot of. Um, f I'm familiar now with with these shapes like this, like that in the weather. When I see that, I know what it is. You know, pretty much it looks that curve. I know, I know that curve. So I just put the curve together with that right there, and that's what I learned today, just today. And that's some that happens every day. But this, that was just a good example. I wanted to show you that part where you see how the weather... Let's just take a look at it closer. So let's see what's up here. 
Oh boy, let's see. Kind of a strange location right there for me. I'd rather this curve be a little bit lower, but it's not. I'd rather that curve be like lined up with this curve here, but it's not. That's all right though. That may not have, you know, doesn't really have nothing to do with the way it fits down here. I mean, it shows shows that down there for sure. Like this weather, just see the, this band, this band of clouds right here, it, how it arches like that. It's it's from this location. This that weather was, is from here. Definitely. So, anyways, long enough. Just wanted to point that out. Get that out there. Sooner or later, we're gonna figure it all out. It's 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 amazing how how much we're how simplified they make the. They make science as the truth. I mean, science, it is completely ridiculous. The way that it's worse. I mean, I'm not saying religion's bad or anything, but, you know, science is like like a religion. And it, if it was a religion, it would be the worst religion. Because they don't, they, they totally lie about shit. And they know the true story, and they don't tell you the true story. That's all there is to it. It's too complicated for you to understand or something like that, for us to understand and, and to be able to deal with it or something. They don't think that we can deal with it or they don't think we can understand it, so they just simplify it and give us these, these fucking fairy tales, excuse my language, fairy tale uh, things that they can't change because they, once they get them set, they can't change it because, I mean, even if a scientist discovers something, right, and they allow it into the science religion, because that's what has to be done. They have to. They have to allow it. It has to go through the scientific bullshit to go before it's allowed, even as a theory or whatever, right? So if they allow it, and this person dies or something, and, and they they still won't even change it later on if if there's a, a big discovery, they stick with the story completely. They don't. I mean, they'll bring in little things as long as it doesn't give you any kind of clue to the other thing. You know what I mean? I'm just saying. When it comes to this. This subject, at least, anyways. I, the rest of science, I don't, I'm sure, is pretty much the same way. Big discoveries don't come to <laughs> come to us; they go to the government first, which is the uh, major problem with the world, anyways. I think everybody wants money or something. How can I capitalize? <laughs> right? All right. Everybody have a great day.